One of the most important lessons in life that you should know is to remember to have an attitude of gratitude, of humility. Understand where the gift comes from. It's not mine. It's been given to me. Use what I have. Use what you have to help others. You know, on your last day, you can't take it with you. But you can leave it here. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you. It's your responsibility to find your new 100%. You write the story of your life. No one can write your financial story. No one can write your spiritual story. No one can write your emotional story but you. Your life has value. Your words carry weight. And when you allow your actions to follow your words, you change things around you. This is who you are. This is the very fiber of the person that I'm talking to in this room. You know, take advantage of the opportunity that you have at this age and the people that you know to build your life resume. It's what I talk about all the time. You know, it's like you have the work resume. So what? That means nothing if you're not building up your life resume. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you, there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities. Work hard, never give up, and there's nothing you can't accomplish. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend, no. Your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. We didn't come this far to come this far. We came here to be champion. It's about putting it on the line. It's about pushing yourself and giving it 110% of everything you got. You simply have to give it everything you have to get it. You need to shut down all negativity. You will follow me and you will bite your words. You don't want this enough. My life on the line. You hear me? Get your life on the line today. Everything on the line. I'm going to do the next right thing, not overcomplicate it. What I feed will grow and what I starve will die. Every day that you wake up, remember someone else did not. You are alive for a reason. Why on earth are you here? This is your day. You've got a window. You've got another 24 hours because you may not make it to tomorrow. And I'm just wondering what you're going to do with the day. The reason why days often feel meaningless and mundane is because we are directionless. You got to get some direction. I'm just wondering what are you going to do in this next 24 hours that you did not do. I'm just wondering if you're going to level up two millimeters more than you did yesterday. Are you going to get better? Are you going to get stronger? Are you going to get wiser? Are you going to see this thing differently? I'm just wondering when are you going to see the power of 24 hours? That you did not have to wake up. That God did not have to give you another opportunity to be here. Another opportunity to forgive somebody. Another opportunity to let it go. Another opportunity to look up and get up. I'm just wondering when are you going to seize the opportunity? Accept where you are. Get cognizant about your money. Get cognizant about your relationships. Where are you mentally? Where are you spiritually and emotionally and financially and economically? Are you driving what you are destined to drive? Where's your health? Where's your heart? Let's get aware of where we are. This is my day to read a new book. This is my day to start a journey. This is my day to make an investment. This is my day to invest in myself. This is my day and this is my time and it's my turn to crush this day. 
This is the day I learn like I never have. This is the day I invest like I never have. This is the day I take it seriously. I've got one window. I may not be here tomorrow. I'm just wondering if you're going to rise and see the opportunity. Get up. Get up. Get up. You've got a day to conquer. If the day's going to be good, I got to heal from the mistakes that were made yesterday. I've got to believe that I don't have to make the same mistakes. It's time to heal. Today I heal. Today I heal from every mistake that is made. Today I heal from everything that I said that I could have said better and everything that was said to me that I wish was never said. I heal today from the people that pushed me verbally but did not support me physically that were never present. Today I heal, I heal, I heal. I heal from what I did not have. I heal from what I did have that I did not want. Today I heal. After we heal, we have to acknowledge what went wrong. What could I have done differently? What boundaries did I allow to be breached? Relationally, financially, with my investments, with my mindset. Where did I put my energy and I didn't get anything back in return? It's like investing in a vending machine with a sign on it that says out of order. And I'm convinced that many of us invest in people and places that are just simply out of order. And this is why we're drained. And this is why we're tired. And this is why we're weary and well-doing. And this is why the day is mundane and it's the same old, same old. Something's got to change with you. I'm just wondering if you're going to repeat the cycle. If the redundancy of mediocrity is going to continue, we've got purpose and we've got fulfillment and we've got destiny breathing down our necks. Let's accept the truth. This is the only way the day matters is if we get aware of what's happening and what's going on. What has my attention? Do I have the attention span of a toddler or a champion? And so once we accept where we are, we accept that truth. We got to give ourselves time to heal. We got to learn from not only our mistakes, but learn from others' mistakes. We have to study why we fail, how we fail. And we've got to ensure that we never do it again. If you're going to win the war for the day, you're going to have to have a high threshold for pain. You will be offended. People will let you down. People will lie to you. Places, circumstances, life will unfold and unravel. This life will knock you in your mouth. Because you got to stay focused. Even when it's painful, even when we're ostracized, even when we're excommunicated and ghosted, it may hurt, but that pain will subside. Let's show the world what a true king and queen is. Together we will rise, together we will fight. And if God says, together we will fall. Let's be phenomenal today, kings and queens. This was only the beginning. Because this life is not done with you. Your dream is not done with you. Mistakes turn us all into winners. Mistakes turn us all into perfections. There's going to be days when it seems like it will never happen. The dream will never manifest. The money will never come. The cause will never come. But you got to fight for something more than material. You got to fight for the baby that lays in your soul. The 
it burns your chest. Because if you don't feel this fire, then it's not a dream. Get back up. Can you hear me? I said get back up. Because this life is not done with you. Your dream is not done with you. See, many of us believe that we don't have what it takes. You have multi-million dollar potential inside of you. And you don't need a dollar to obtain it. It's all inside of you. If you're going to crush this day, this week, this month, this quarter, and this year, and if the rest of your life is going to be the best of your life, you're going to have to think differently, plan differently, set the goal, and you're going to have to write it down. You've got to get clear. You've got to get specific. And once you get specific, what you wrote down mandates what you do. I said it before, I'll say it again. Oftentimes, the day feels mundane and meaningless because we are directionless. Write the vision down. Get clear, get specific, write it down. Document it. Get serious about it. Write it, read it. If you want to see success, then you need to make the planning stages significant and you need to see the value in the process. We want wealth, but we don't want a plan. We want success, but we don't want significance. We want connection, but we don't want correction. I've got to write it down and not only write it down, but I need my circle of accountability to correct things that may be wrong. Because if you're trying to build this dream and walk in your destiny by yourself, if you think you can pull it off with no help, with no purpose partner, then it's too small. I'm speaking healing over you. I'm speaking breakthrough over you. I'm speaking that you walk into your future, that you'll let go of what was to step into what is. I, I, I believe this for you. I believe that as you become and not just do, that what you seek will pursue you. Destiny will begin to chase you down.